Greetings and welcome to Monster Legends and another special feeding episode. This time we're going to be feeding an epic that I picked up at the Gangs of Monster Legends event. This is quite some time ago though. And I hear that, uh, well, she's worthy of playing with the legendaries. This is... Bunny Bark! And she's darkness and she's fire and unfortunately she has a couple of lock ruin slots. But uh, I hear that she's very good. So let's uh, let's find out. So first we'll find a hope for her. I think that, um, yeah, I think darkness is probably a little better. Oh, oh, there's a couple of evil rabbits over here. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, I don't know what that was about, but it looked nefarious. Is it definitely look nefarious? All right, so we're okay. I missed it by that much. She's over here. Okay, so this is someone that we're going to rename. Probably just call her Bonnie for for simplicity, right? Okay. Well, okay, she's playing hide and seek there or something. Not really sure. Anyway, this is Bonnie Bark. She is an epic. She has darkness. She has uh, fire. She appears to be immune to possession. Okay, so she's not quite as powerful as she is speedy. I mean, again, you have to look at these values in terms of the fact that she is an epic and that she is going to be living in the world of legendaries. Her life isn't bad for an epic, but I guess we're just going to have to see in the end. So let's check out some skills. Okay, Gun Maul deals low physical damage to one enemy, and then we have Gomara. Deals moderate fire damage to one enemy. All right, so her speed is better than her power, so that I am assuming that she's going to be more supporty. Maybe she's going to be controlly. I guess we're going to have to find out. Bonnie Bark has earned a reputation of being the most cunning in the canine clan, and rightfully so. Highly respected by her mafia brothers, this seductive thief is notorious for using her beauty to get her way. Careful not to flirt, or you'll be flirting with danger. All right, so she's dangerous. Okay, first of all, she's just a little one here. We need to get her up there a little bit. A little bit there, okay. All right, she's uh, the late teens there. She looks like she's ready for action. Don't mess with her. She's dangerous. All right, so now we want to see those skills because I've heard so much about them. So let's go to level 7, her first skill. Light, please. Deals moderate dark damage to one enemy. 50% chance of blinding. Okay, so that's, that's not bad. Because it's a 50% chance and we're not keeping it. But I mean, for a skill, it's going to be blinding. It's moderate damage. That's not too bad. Actually, it's kind of like medium moderate damage too, so not so bad. Even though, she, you know, the power means she's not going to be a damage dealer. Absolutely not. All right, so let's go to level 10. Passion Felony. Applies stamina regeneration and regeneration to itself. Oh, that's not bad. You got a group version of that. That could be very useful. All right, let's continue to level 15. Where's Clyde? Oh, that didn't work out too well for him, did it? No, it didn't. Deals moderate fire damage to one enemy. 50% chance of applying possession and total blind. Okay, that's a very bad combination because, I mean, if I possess something, I don't want it blind. I want it attacking its own guys. So I'm, I, I like the possession part. I like the total blind part, but can we keep them separated, please? That just doesn't make any sense. But it's interesting that she's got the total blind uh, uh, tr effect there. Could be interesting. All right, let's continue to her final form. At level 20, Playful Pose deals heavy dark damage to one enemy, applies blind. All right, well, that's obviously an upgrade of that one, so we're going to take it. And zero cooldown on that, too. Okay, there she is, Bonnie Bark. Don't mess with her. She's dangerous. And let's continue to level 25. Lawlessness love. Okay, there's an S missing. Just saying. 
Removes all negative status effects from one ally. Applies double damage and precision to one ally. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, I'll take it over this one because as a single target, this one really isn't very useful, the passion one. But this one as a single target is useful, especially with a one-round cooldown. Double damage and precision is a good combo. A group version would be a better one. She does seem to be kind of supporty. All of her stuff does seem to do something either good for your side or bad for them. So let's continue to level 30 and another skill. Canine Fatale deals moderate fire damage to one enemy, applies possession and blind to one enemy. I really wish they would split up the, uh, the possession and the blinding there, you know? I'm guessing it's an upgrade, even though this one is total blind. But as I said, it's not useful if you're possessing. It really isn't. At least this one, the blind goes for the next turn. Yeah, I'll just put that there. I'm hoping there's a better use of total blind in the future. All right, let's continue. Maybe it's the next skill at level 35. Weapon of Mass Distraction applies possession and total blind to all enemies. I really don't like the fact that those two are mixed up. All right. Um, you know what would be better? I would, I would prefer possession or total blind. But I mean, mixing... Okay, well, obviously that has to go in the first spot. But I mean, don't mix them together. I mean, if you're possessing somebody, you want them to attack. You don't want them to miss. I don't understand why you would put them together. It, oh, that's just really irritating because both of those separately are so good. But, I mean, can I get a single target total blind? Because I think that would be really useful. All right, let's continue to level 40. And another skill. Attraction Distraction. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies blind. Okay. Couldn't that have been total blind? Okay, well, that's... Obviously, better than that. Look, let's look here for a minute. She does a lot of that, doesn't she? All right, so I'm going to take this one out because, let's face it, we're not looking for damage from her. We're looking for effects because, you know, the damage is going to be done by the, uh, the legendaries. So doing blind to the entire group is definitely better than doing blind to a single one, even if it's a zero cooldown. I don't think she's going to have a problem. Two round, two, one round... I don't really think it's a problem, so it's not something that you really... She doesn't require a zero cooldown, and this one is just better. All right, I don't know if there are any more, because after all, she's an epic. She may have used them all up already, but we'll just take a look. We'll see what she's got. Maybe something else here. Playful pose. We did... Th yeah, we just took that one out, right. A group version is a better idea. Level 50... Okay, avoid Gil's land. Removes all negative status effects from all allies, applies damage boost and precision. That does everybody. And it's three rounds. The damage boost, I mean. Yeah, I know this one is double damage. But this one does damage boost to everybody. And then it lasts for three rounds. So in the end, you're going to end up doing more damage. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to substitute that one. I mean, double damage is great, but I mean, I'd rather have a damage boost for everybody and then having it last three rounds. That's just really good. I would be sh Oh, you know what I just realized? We'll do it. We'll check that out at the end. I just realized we didn't look at the special skill. I believe that she's done. I believe that she's done. I can't imagine her having more skills. So we're just going to look anyway. Playful pose again. Wouldn't it surprise me if we see that one the last time as well. And playful pose. Yeah, like I said, they're, they're really trying to push that one, right? All right, let's just take a quick look over here. Make sure didn't miss anything. Where's Clyde? Clyde did things didn't end too well for Clyde, did they? No, they didn't. Actually, they didn't end very well for Bonnie as well. But I guess she got away. All right, now before anything else, I missed a special skill. Let's take a look at her special skill. Okay, the trail ends. Disables trait for all enemies, applies possession to all enemies. Oh, that is very, very useful. Wow, if that wasn't a skill, that would be so overpowered. 
That would be so very, very overpowered. All right, that's a good one. That is definitely a good one. Definitely good. All right, let's look at our finer numbers. Uh, life is about what you would expect from a, uh, a normal um, epic. Uh, power is a little light. You know, speed is a little better. But, you know, she's not there to do damage. She's not there to do damage. All of her stuff is either supporting your group or messing with the other. So that's, uh, that's her job. She's not there to do uh, damage. She's there to uh, yeah, mess with people and help your guys. She seems to be interesting. She definitely seems to be interesting. I'm, I just really don't like the mixing of total blind and possession. But tell you what, why don't we just look at the skills again, and then we'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, these are the skills that I chose, but I think you really kind of had to pick these to a degree. I mean, you might have had a little bit of a decision on the last one, but I think you really needed to pick these. All right, let's start with the first one. Weapons of Mass Distraction. Applies possession and total blind to all enemies. Requires cooldown. That is just such a waste. Total blind is really good. But the problem is if you possess them, then they're going to be attacking their own guys and themselves. But if they're totally blind, they're going to miss. So, I mean, it's such a waste. I mean, if the total blind lasted for two rounds... I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just such a waste. I don't know why you would merge them to, together. I mean, I would prefer the blindness had been here and the next, not the next skill, the, the one, the third skill, attraction, distraction, the total blind there would have been much better. I know that would have been incredibly overpowered. But the, you know, the thing about it is it's just kind of a waste, though. It's a shame. But I mean, I suppose if you use this on enemies that are immune to possession, then they'll get the total blind. The entire purpose is you're not going to get attacked next round. So I'm guessing that's kind of it. It's just that I just don't like seeing possession mixed with something that is going to prevent your enemies from attacking. I've always had a pet peeve about that. And this is the ultimate one. There's literally nothing they can do. The only thing they actually can successfully do is to buff themselves, you know. All right, well, anyway, that is Weapon of Mass Distraction. It's very powerful. It's just, in my opinion, it's just kind of a waste, though. All right, now we're going with Canine Fatale. Deals moderate fire damage to one enemy, applies possession and blind to one enemy. It's the same principle as the other one. It's just not as wasteful. Blind is, is a 50% reduction, whereas total blind is a 100% reduction, which means unless they have precision on, they have no chance of hitting anybody. This one... You could still do it. And the good thing about this one is that when the, if you get both of them on and the possession wears off, well, they're still blind for the next turn. So it is useful, and uh, it's not bad damage, even though she's not a damage dealer. You're not going to put damage on her. They're not going to put damage on her. All right, then we have a, Attraction Distraction. Now, this is the one I was talking about. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies blind to all enemies. This is good. This is standard damage and blindness. I would have wished that this one had been total blind, but I guess that would have been a bit overpowered. You know, put blindness in the first one, put total blind on this one. But, I mean, it is an epic. But, I mean, this is still a very good skill. As I said in the previous one, blindness is going to give a uh, minus 50% accuracy. So, unless they have some kind of a buff, they're going to miss 50% of the time. That can be very, very useful to prevent, like, strong creatures from actually doing damage to your team. So, anyway... And finally, we have Avoid Gibbs Land. Removes all negative status effects from allies, applies damage boost and precision to all allies. Okay, the, the damage boost lasts for three turns, the precision lasts for two turns. There was another one that gave, it was a single target, it gave double damage. The double damage lasted for one turn, the precision lasted for two turns. It had a three round cooldown. I prefer this one, even though it's really not going to apply to her. You figure she's going to be. You figure you're going to use her with legendaries. So giving them a damage boost for three turns, I think, is probably more useful than giving one. I mean, there's situations. There's situations. It really depends on how you intend to use her. I just think that this one is more useful. I mean, if you, you want to use the other one, it's definitely... I mean, if you're counting on only having one big damage dealer, then yeah, give him double damage, something like that. I personally think, for me, that this one is a little bit more useful. Her skills are very good. She looks like for an epic, she's going to be very useful. Basically, just speed. I mean, the thing about it is, if you're going to actually use her, the chances are 
it's going to be in a war formula that is going to require a an epic. So in that case, you want her as fast as possible because everything she's going to be doing is going to be, let's face it, you're, you're probably not getting her for this buff. You're probably getting her for this and then to follow up with this and then maybe a single target this, that kind of thing. Th what You're going to lead with this one. Whether you use this one or this one really depends upon the situation that's going on. I mean, if you use this and your team has killed everybody but one, then yeah, you're going to use this because then you got the possession and the blindness, and it's better than just doing this. So it really depends on the situation. But she's support, and she could be great support. Uh, as I said, speed, just speed, because you want... She's going to have to make up for the fact that she's actually an epic instead of a legendary. The legendary is going to go to 100. She's only going to go to 90. Even though that speed looks good now, take 10 levels off of her, what her uh, teammates are going to be doing, and it's a problem. So you can put speed on her. Probably support speed, too. Maybe like two good speeds and a support speed. I mean, she's not going to be... I mean, she could be denial. It's just, again, she's an epic. You have to look at it in that point of view. But anyway, she's very useful. She's definitely one of those epics that stands above the others. And very well, I might end up using her in the future. Of course, the problem is the lock ruin slot. So I don't know about that. Do I actually want to spend to unlock um, an epic's ruin slots? I don't know about that. But anyway, uh, maybe we'll test her in an epic group in the future. We'll see what happens. So anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.